But we need to move on now to the Kano State Governor. Um, there was a, I think a third and fourth video did come out in the past week. Um, the uh, man who had been releasing them said he actually didn't authorize the third one. So I don't know where they are now coming out from. But these are alleged videos of the Kano State Governor seen once again collecting uh, American dollars from some contractor we don't know of yet. There's still, I don't know if we've gotten a response this time. He was called to the State House of Assembly. He sent a representative there. He didn't go in. <laughs> People have said he should, be, he should have resigned at this point. So what, what can the State House do in a situation like this? Sorry, when you mentioned the State House, who and what makes up the State House? The State House is under the absolute leadership of the man in question. But they are supposed to be an independent body. The, they, are said, the suppose they are supposed to be, but in the Nigerian sector, there has never been any. It's so sad. You know, I expected, if not for the terrible trail that we've been following in Nigeria, where a public office holder would be invited for responsible deliberations, and yet he would refuse to show up, and nothing instrumental will be done. You see, Ganduje has just followed the path of his fellow politicians. But it was sad, because by my expectations, I thought if he had the facts and he had some bit of truth on his part, he should have turned up and then he would divulge whatever was clear or known to him over this matter. But successfully, for his demerit, he failed to show up. And that goes to taint him more on the issue. Are those videos really enough to indict him, though? Because, I mean, it could be anything. There's people who've said it's not even true, that those are probably things that were computer-generated. Uh, let's even assume they were real. What, uh, what, was, what, what transaction was going on? What is he collecting the monies for? How do we know that it's actually corruption? You know, are, are those videos enough? Um, the videos, well, I, I won't say they're necessarily enough, but they are a good start. Because to me, I'm actually wondering why a governor will collect kickbacks himself. I mean, it actually shows how smart, how smart he isn't. Because if you are a governor, if even if you want Allegedly, to, because we yeah, still even <laughs> if you want to, even if you decide to want to collect kickbacks, you have people that would that should do that job for you. Not that you would go yourself and you would allow yourself to be allegedly <laughs> captured with a spy camera. And uh, the last one I saw it was, I think he, the video, he, was, he said that was $185,000 that he was putting around. So it actually shows that sometimes, and we also, we should know that this politician, they actually believe that nothing will happen. So and it, it's the mindset that nothing is going to happen. And so far, we've seen that nothing has happened. It was supposed to appear fine. I saw, I, I, I read somewhere that the state house was saying he could have come by himself. He could send someone or do it by proxy. But that's, that's, that's understandable. But we should also know that this is a governor. And like he said, governorship in Nigeria and state house of assemblies most times are just rubber stamps of the ruling party. The only thing that can maybe take him out is because of the seeming separation in the APC in Kano with the Kwan Kwaso and other side. But the other thing is, do the other parts have the numbers to take him out? Yeah. If not... And he's going to, he's, he's running again. Should the ICPC step in? Because I know this is not necessarily a Buhari issue, yep. but the ICPC is supposed to probe public officers. I know he does have immunity as a governor, and maybe there's a, not a lot that can be done. But is there anything the ICPC, for example, can do? Thank you very much. I, I just stepped off banking after 15 years as an investigator. And you know, the premise of investigations are numerous. Now, if there have been written, confirmed reports, or allegations against his person to the ICPC one, then on public stands, even while there is yet to be none, but just in national interest, not only the ICPC, all agencies of government in that line can actually step in. But unfortunately, the makeup and the constituents of the nation called Nigeria today, and like he was saying, don't be surprised because the videos are not in any way sufficient to pull him through. But at the same time, like he said, because of the political rainfalls we've been having now, it might have been cooked up, it might have been instigated, it might have been, but unfortunately, the nearness to truth is doubtful. Because as a sitting governor, if not for the sentiment of impunity in horse, that should have been thrown to the trash. Yeah. But as he has said, 
ICPC or any other agency, if responsible, should have, on public interest, moved in to begin to investigate this. But because of the nation called Nigeria that we are built over time by our systems and impunities, we may not see them working yet until maybe someone has finally dragged them to court. Well, we have four videos. We do here. We're supposed to have 13, I believe, or 14 several, videos. Several. I don't know at what point the governor will speak up or say something. At what point someone uh, who would but you know, who but should you know speak up video, will say something. But the video to, per se, yes. if he were to be very, very smart, he should have come up to say one or two things. Maybe he will. That's why I say we, we're watching the space. Hopefully something happens soon. But I mean, everybody's just wondering why the silence. But quickly now, let's talk about Mr. President. He finally has his YX certificate. He was presented. I don't know why you're laughing. He was presented his certificate uh, on Friday, I believe. Uh, all smiles in the state house. I mean, um, we don't the, val the validity of it. A lot of people are questioning um, the grades. I hold other conversation. But does that now rest this case? I think it should. It should. It should rest it as since Waek, the body that should have the certificate, they've given it to him. So I think it should rest it, but it would not, because no, because like he said, Nigeria is a is a country where we major on the minors. Now, for example, I'm not I'm not here to hold fault for him or whatever, but like he has said before that he couldn't have gone to the military without having that certificate. Now, Wayek has said that that is the certificate. People have said, okay, why are some subjects not there? But Wayek has also said that in the new attestation we give, we remove subjects that people fail in. So people have said, when did this start? Wayek said this started in 2015. Funny enough, I just actually knew that Wayek was really active on Twitter after, <laughs> from Friday. So they've been answering almost every question because of this issue. Now, like, some people have also said, why didn't this happen in 2015? My thoughts, it may be wrong. My question is this. Why didn't it happen in 2015? Maybe because another government was in position. They may have I'm strong like not to produce it. But because, because the, the truth is because we don't allow institutions to work. Normally, Waek should have provided this result even before he was elected. But now that he's the one in charge, so it's easy for Waek to bend bend in a sense to his will and yeah. bring it to him because normally like people say they're supposed to send it to the institution but because he is the president so they have to give him that honor and respect to bring the result to him does the pdp rest after this and talk about other things if actually you want to witness a very wonderful political scenery you shouldn't expect the pdp to rest because this is just a gate a toll gate to the main stuff because like he has said, now for the for why because and again like I was sharing with some people, realize why is not Nigerian. Mm -hmm. So there is a bit of objectivity here until people like the PDP particularly goes further to check or contest the authenticity of what Waek has done. Because I want I may want to give it to him like you have said, you see, it might not have been done in twenty fifteen if no request for such was advanced. But now, if the request was done as we have read, then Waek has done very beautifully well to have gone ahead to do this. But I don't expect PDP to rest. They are still more. I don't see that. I mean, politics is very hot in the air. Everything is going to be talked about from now till February. Thanks a lot for being here today.